Hello, this is astrologer coach Sonia Francis and today I want to talk to you about Neptune in Pisces. Neptune moved into Pisces in February of 2012 and it will journey there until 2025. Now this is quite a long time and Neptune will be in its own sign because uh, Neptune and Pisces belong together in terms of their energetic match. Now uh, Pisces is a water sign which means that uh, with Neptune traveling through its own sign it's very much about tapping into our feelings, into our intuition and into our sensing of things. Now Neptune is very much about our inner divinity, it's about universal love, it's about oneness, unity, compassion, it's all about having faith and connecting one-on-one -on -one to a higher self or to source and it's also about uh, inspiration, being inspired about all the possibilities that we have in life and in, in our life's journey and um, having creative and imaginative ideas that help us to connect to all these possibilities. You know, making dreams come true. Neptune is about dreams. It's about ideals. Uh, it's definitely about um, also allowing things to be as they are and kind of going with the flow, you know, allowing the flow of life. And uh, so uh, Neptune is very much about dissolving boundaries because it's all about dissolving anything that keeps us from really experiencing flow and unity and oneness. Now, uh, during the time that Neptune is in Pisces, uh, we're going to be feeling a little bit more sensitive towards the energies that are out there in the world and also towards other people and situations. And so therefore, uh, we want to be really conscious about how we deal uh, with the energies around us, how we connect to the energies around us and also what energies we surround ourselves with. So it's a really great time to do uh, any kind of uh, spiritual uh, work or any kind of creative work. Uh, it's also a great time to really tap into our feeling states and connect to that sixth sense inside of us, to our psychic abilities. Um, and also uh, music plays a big part with Neptune in Pisces because music is one of those things that really can connect us on an emotional level and also on a, um, it can connect us on a global and, and on, a, uh, on a level where we all can connect to one thing. Um, now, uh, because we're feeling so highly sensitive during the time that Neptune is in Pisces towards our fellow human beings and, and towards uh, uh, all energy that is occurring, um, we may get uh, a little bit overwhelmed by that sometimes. We may feel a little bit confused because there's so much uh, feelings flowing through us and, and um, between us. Uh, and, you know, so there's sometimes a sense that we may want to escape all of that because it may feel too overwhelming and may feel too chaotic. We may not feel grounded enough. So uh, there is a sense that with Neptune in Pisces that people may use that uh, energy uh, to escape life, to escape reality, either through drugs or through food or alcohol or medication or uh, through work by not wanting to connect to, uh, to feelings or to other people or um, by, by pouring ourselves into, you know, playing video games or watching movies or TV constantly just so we don't have to live in the real world and really connect to what we're feeling and what we're sensing and to our higher selves. And so it is recommended, of course, during the Neptune in Pisces uh, phase that we are getting more good at connecting to our higher selves, that we're getting better at allowing our feelings to flow more fully. And uh, one of the things that's also happening at the same time as Neptune being in Pisces is that Chiron is also going to move through Pisces until 2018. And um, I've already done a video about that, but just briefly to recap how that's related to Neptune is that we're really tapping also into our spiritual and emotional wounds that we have and, and uh, um, our insecurities that we have around uh, our feelings or our, our connectedness to the universe or our connectedness to source. 
Um, and so with, with that Chiron uh, placement, we're getting a chance to do some healing work here. We're getting a chance to really uh, bring some love and compassion and understanding towards that, that feeling journey, towards that spiritual journey, and really uh, connect um, maybe by having by finding a different perspective and by finding a um, different way of uh, understanding or, or maybe through forgiveness um, that we can uh, dissolve you know some of these insecurities or dissolve some of these wounds that um, have maybe been given to us uh, through generations through our ancestors so especially if of course if you have chiron in pisces you know natal chart that is particularly true for you but for all of us we're, we're on a collective level we're definitely experiencing this this healing and so energy healing is very powerful during that time and doing emotional healing work in in one way or another whether it's through music or whether it's through uh, tapping into our unconscious uh, world or whether it's through getting more connected to um, our divinity and through to our feelings in some way. Uh, all of that is very helpful. Now, uh, the, the question that you really want to ask yourself with that, that Chiron journey is, you know, could you allow yourself to uncover the part of yourself that is pure love and that is purely connected to everything around you and that is you know your inner divinity um and uh by by loving ourselves more fully by bringing compassion to the parts of ourselves that that feel disconnected from that we're actually creating a lot of healing with ourselves and and for other people too um, now, Neptune in Pisces, however, of course, is very much about sensing our soul's desire for love and oneness and, and this unity between all there is, between all of us on a, on a human level and on a spirit level. And so, uh, so there's really a sense that we need to allow ourselves to really be in the flow of life and to really allow for life to be exactly what it is and exactly what it isn't. And to just, by not resisting that and by just uh, going with that flow and by trusting and having faith that that whatever is happening is perfectly uh, valid and is okay to happen, we are really getting more clear about what it what that unity feeling is and what that oneness feeling is to everything around us and um you know also getting a sense that you know whatever we're experiencing in our own world is a mere reflection of our own inner world of our own inner experience of our own en of our own inner energies so um we're really needing to connect uh, when we're when we're connecting to others to other people in that way we're really able to see that that there there is no separation that everything is really just one thing it is energy and it is everything we are all part of that same energy you know there is nobody separate from that energy uh, because everything that is is energy so um, of course for those of us who have you know a Pisces sun sign Pisces rising sign moon in Pisces or a very dominant Neptune in our natal chart we're the ones who are going to feel uh, this uh, this energy with Neptune in Pisces more fully and more strongly and we might be able to really tap into our psychic energies or psychic sensibilities more fully uh, really connecting to to the universe more fully and to all there is um, we might also feel more sensitive of course so again it is very important to um, to be careful or be um, be aware of what energies you surround yourself with and how you take care of your own uh, energies, of your own feeling state, of your own energy state. And, you know, the one thing that, that can happen when we don't take care of our inner connection to source or to our higher selves um, is that we we tend to get scared because we feel overwhelmed and we feel confused and we feel uh, like we're having no ground under our feet. And so when fear shows up, 
that is a clear sign that that we're not fully connected to source that we're not fully connected to our higher selves and so it's really a calling fear is merely a calling for us to to reconnect to that oneness to reconnect to that inner divinity uh, because by doing that we're 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 able to be in the flow again and we're able to allow again for everything to be exactly as it is and to be more present in our lives. So wherever Neptune is in your chart right now by transit, as it's going through Pisces, wherever you have Pisces in your chart and wherever you have Neptune in your chart, uh, those are the areas of your lives that are going to be most affected by this transit, by this Neptune transit. And uh, those are the areas of your lives also that will tell you where you need to dissolve boundaries, where you need to let go uh, of needing uh, to be in control or needing to have things be a particular way, where you need to allow and have compassion uh, with whatever is unfolding uh, with yourself and with other people in your life. So uh, if you want to know where in your own personal chart Neptune is traveling through Pisces and where it's affecting you, where this transit is affecting you, you know, please feel free out, feel free to reach out for a mini reading. I'd be happy to support you in that way. If you want a little bit more of a deeper support and to understand your soul's journey and and whatever else is going on in your chart, feel free to reach out for a whole life reading or there's other readings also available if you Go to my website, you can check and see what, what else is out there. Um, but I'm always happy to be there for you. I'm always happy to support you. Uh, astrology can be a very wonderful, beautiful tool that can really help us to stay in touch with the energies out there and stay aligned with what the universe is trying to communicate to us and, and how we can align ourselves in a more beautiful way and in, in, in a way that we can really tap into our higher vibrations more fully and get connected more fully to our higher selves. And so um, if, if, if this is something that you find curious or interesting, then please feel free to stay in touch with me via my weekly blogs or my daily postings on my Facebook fan page. Uh, my weekly blogs are posted every Sunday night uh, on my website at astrologercoach.com slash blog. And uh, my Facebook fan page is astrologercoach.sonia Francis, if you go to Facebook. Uh, and... Um, uh, again, there's also several services available and lots of freebies. So feel free to check out my website and, and see what that's all about. All right. So have a fantastic uh, connection with Neptune. Have a, a great way to tap into your intuition more fully and, and get more connected to source and to your higher self. And uh, this is astrologer coach Sonia Francis, and I'll be back soon.